Well, hello everyone. Today I am in apparently Detroit because right behind me is an iconic building from an iconic movie, RoboCop. In actuality, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and this is the city hall that stood in for the OCP building in the movie. So I'm gonna go check it out. Now, of course, in the movie, it's extended up quite a bit further with a, a matte painting to make it look like it's a much bigger building, but this is the main part of the building. And they did a lot of filming here, including some other stuff that I'm gonna go see up a little bit closer over here. Look at that. It's giving me the feels, man. I'm in old Detroit. In the general area, there's really not a whole lot of people here. There's a fountain there. That's kind of neat. Makes it seem kind of futuristic. Also over here is the uh, Dallas City skyline, which I don't know if you can see any of these buildings in the movie, maybe, but probably not from this angle. So yeah, I'm here in Dallas for a couple of days to do some fun stuff with my son back there. And I thought I gotta come down to see some of these RoboCop filming locations. Oh, oh my God, this is so cool. Look at this, this is so cool. <laughs> It's the whole building. Check this out. This is the entrance. This is the main entrance. So Murphy would have pulled his car. He would have pulled his car up, well, illegally. He would have illegally pulled up his car like right here and stopped right about here. And then waiting for him in this little area right up here would have been the ed 209 robot oh man <laughs> oh, this is so cool ed 209 standing right here waiting for robocop and then he trounced out right about here you have 20 seconds to move your head. and then robocop whipped out his mega gun i don't I forget what the name of the gun was and he just like blasted it and exploded it looked like they had a real explosion like right here literally and then he went inside the building to take care of dick jones and the old man but yeah this is so cool right here iconic spot where ed 209 stood and of course there's a phone booth right here that <laughs> Looks like it's been forgotten about and busted up, falling apart. But yeah, Ed 209, he would have stood right about here. Let me stand in the spot where Ed 209 was. Right about here. He stood right here and he looked out and he saw Robocop coming. He's like, oh, I got to take care of this Robocop guy. And he came right over here and he tried to attack Robocop and blam! He got taken out. So this would have been the entrance where Robocop came in. Of course, it looks like they've added this entire foyer here, probably some kind of security foyer. It looks like they got uh, metal detectors and stuff like that in there, but he would have gone right in here. Just crazy to think that they would have filmed one of the most iconic movies in this very spot. I'm just soaking it all in, man. I'm just soaking it in. Just looking at this building and, you know, I'm sure a million people have come down here and looked at this in the past and been in complete awe of what this building represents as a movie. Look at this. It's just blowing me away. I know, it's just an entrance, but it's still pretty cool. Just out front of the building, of course, you got this really nice view of the city skyline and this fountain here. Very nice and open environment. There it is. Soak it all in, get the view of the OCP building. Okay, so Robocop would have driven right up here and stopped. And then over here, in 209, would have walked out of this alcove right here, like this. This 
from the Robocop over here. He's been in his car. And he whoops out this gun. And he goes, kablam! And N209 does this. He goes, and then he falls over. And his legs start twitching really bad. That's it. And he's, and then, see, then, then Robocop, hold on. Then Robocop, after he's done, he puts the gun down and he walks in. And he goes in and he takes care of the bad guys. So, yeah, I'm really tired after that. <laughs> Alright, one last look at the iconic building. Can't get that song out of my head though. I guess Dick Jones, <laughs> when he uh, fell out of the building, would have been like out of here somewhere at this point. I'm not really sure, but yeah, so cool. All right, next stop on the tour is the Dallas Law Center, which I think stood in for the city hall in the movie. Got to go across the street to get a better shot, though. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, so this is the building that stood in for the city hall in the movie. And right where that bus is, <laughs> there was a whole bunch of police cars right here because there was a hostage situation. And it was right out of that window is where the uh, the guy was talking about how he wanted a recount and wanted his old job back and everything and he was going to take care of the mayor and all that. <laughs> then Robocop goes up these steps, says keep him talking, and goes in. Keep him talking. He goes into this area right here and he busts through the wall and grabs a guy through it and throws him out this window now if you notice in the movie it's this one because you can see that triangular structure right there and then this window here is over to the left of that so he started here robocop pulled him through here and threw him out that window right there <laughs> So Robocop would have pulled his car right up and stopped right here and gotten out and looked up and you can see him coming out of the car and you can see the rounded thing there and then the triangular thing right there. And he walks up the stairs right here. Keep him talking. So yep, it was that window. Came out and he would have landed well, he would have landed like down here probably somewhere. That would not have been a good fall. But, uh, yep, that's it. That's the area. Robocop is right there. Walked up the stairs. All right, stand in for City Hall. See you next time. On to our next spot. All right, here I am at another iconic location. This is where the gang test their explosive weapons right about in there. There was a huge explosion where Clarence blew up the guy's car. <laughs> Tell by the little things up there, the way it's designed. And of course, this building right here. It's kind of a busy street, but yep, this is the gang hang out. Gangs hang out. But yeah, this is the whole, the whole little crappy downtown area from the movie. Say the iconic words in the spot. I like it. I like it. The other thing of note was that I read where the crew, when they were filming this, they actually called it a nightmare on Elm Street. I can imagine why. It's probably probably a real pain in the butt filming at night and you know explosions and all that stuff. So nightmare on Elm Street. I'm actually on Elm Street. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna take the same drive that Robocop took on his way back to his house which is right down this lane that's supposed to be primrose lane but it's actually called marywood and there's what he saw when he was coming home Let's see if we can find the actual house that he had 
Driving through Robocop's neighborhood. It's more or less like little uh, townhomes, basically. Which one was his? Which one was his house? It's actually this one right here because here's the glass paneling thing here. And then this is where the sign would have been that said for sale. So this is actually RoboCop's house. Now I wonder if the people who live here actually know that this is where RoboCop lived. This is where it was. This is where he went in and probably uh, busted that screen that was taunting him. Why not make me an offer? I Murphy. You're missed, buddy. All right, well, that's going to do it for some of the iconic movie locations for RoboCop. These are the ones that are the most iconic to me. Now, I didn't have enough time to do all of them. If you want to see all of the movie locations from RoboCop, make sure you check out my friend Savage Mister's channel. He did a very comprehensive video a couple years back that pretty much showed everything. These are just the ones that are near and dearest to my heart. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. See you later, Murphy's house. Going back down the road here. Back down the private <laughs> drive. That, I don't know. I, I, I drove down here. I don't know if I was allowed to, but you know, when you're in search of iconic movie locations, you kind of tend to do dumb things. <laughs> oh, that's Primrose Drive right there, too, by the way, coming down this direction and then in. All right. See ya. I'd buy that for a dollar.